Hey guys, how's everyone doing? I'm just chilling at home in my pajamas and I received a package from my friends in England and I really wanted to try it out with you guys. And even though it's 11 p.m. and I probably shouldn't be drinking caffeinated tea right now, I can't wait until the morning. So we're gonna do it. We've got the Yorkshire tea, like awesome flavor selection here. I think these are all the really exciting flavors that they have available at the moment. And I'm super excited about this because <laughs> Yorkshire tea is my all time favorite tea. Um, I'm a tea addict and my black tea of choice is Yorkshire tea. So seeing these flavored versions of it is so freaking exciting. So we've got breakfasty toast and jam brew. Tastes like jam on toast. Interesting choice. And this is multi biscuit brew. Tastes like tea and biscuits. Probably doesn't get much better than that. And finally, we've got decaf bedtime brew. This is really cool because how often do you see a black tea that's decaffeinated? At least I haven't seen one. <laughs> so I'm very excited that I can now drink black tea late into the night. That's really fun. Um, this one has vanilla and nutmeg. It sounds so yummy. Avacious. Hi, I love watching your videos. They're so relaxing and they help me calm down after a stressful day. Sending you virtual hugs from Canada. Thank you. That's so sweet. I really like hearing that. <laughs> You're so kind. Where are you from in Canada? Is it snowing right now? It's snowing where I am in Morioka. It's been snowing for the past few days and uh, it's piling up here. So <laughs> kind of worried as to how much snow we're going to get this year. I saw a comment earlier uh, saying you wished this live stream was outside, but that's like the last place I want to be right now. <laughs> you better smash that bedtime one after the other is. Yeah, I'll save that one for last. <laughs> I can attest to the crazy snow. Hey, Chris, <laughs> is it snowing there too? It's snowing everywhere in Northern Japan. It was actually like record snowfall levels in Northern Japan. I saw the news of some people getting stuck on the highway and like having to sleep in their cars because all the roads were just covered. Um, yeah, Yorkshire tea. Are you a fan? <laughs> oh, Emma, hey. <laughs> Snow in Tokyo. Honestly, if you're gonna get any this year, uh, or if you're going to get any, it'll be this year because uh, it looks like there's just snow everywhere. It was snowing in Kyoto when I left and then I came back up to northern Japan and it's still snowing. Uh, <laughs> can't escape it. But yeah, so I cheated and I already drank this one as soon as it arrived because I could not resist. And it was amazing, but I'm going to drink it again and uh, explain the taste to you guys. So this is the multi biscuit brew. Multi black teas are my favorite. I really love like a really strong black tea. I always put milk in it. Soy milk. Aman, English tea with a certain Englishman named Chris Broad would have been nice. Um, we have a request, Chris. You have to join me for a cup of tea next time. <laughs> Are you up for it? So when I first opened the package and I smelt it, I was like, holy crap, it does smell like a biscuit. Like it really does, it smells sweet. It's such a nice smell, just like this. And then when you brew it, it makes your entire house smell like cookies. I don't think there's any sweetener in it, but it has a nice sweet cookie smell. I better not drink like a full cup of these. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to sleep. <laughs> Oh my God, it smells so good. Chris only drinks PG tips. No, what is wrong with you? This Yorkshire tea is the best tea, hands down. It smells so freaking good. If you're in the UK, I think you can get these. One sec. <laughs> my friend Becky, who sent them to me, she replied to a comment and told someone where you can get them. So let me tell you guys, just in case you're in the UK and you would like some. Bedtime and biscuit you can get from big Tesco's, whatever that means. The jam one is really hard to find because it's only at a few big Asdas and keeps selling out, says Becky. So <laughs> that's your info on where to get it in the UK. 
Ayla, Isla, am I saying your name right? Ayla. Afternoon from England. Love your videos. An amazing tea company you can get off of Amazon is Puka. I've tried lots of Puka teas. I really like them. They come in some really interesting flavors as well. Steven says, I already said it via Twitter, but thanks to you, Chris, Emma, Joey, and the TC crew for keeping me somewhat sane this year. Aw, thank you, Steven. Same to you guys. Um, it's been really nice to have like this outlet to just chill with you guys and chat. It's been quite a shit year for us all. <laughs> and so it's always nice chatting with you guys. <laughs> Chris says, my tea drinking days are long gone. Sadly, living in Japan, I've become a coffee drinker. Boo, that's not an excuse. I enjoy tea more, but coffee has the caffeine I need to live. Okay, I think I think it's ready. I don't know if you guys can see this. I like to let it sit for like three minutes at least. <laughs> it's time to turn in your British passport. Where's my spoon? Oh, where'd it go? Shit, oh, there it is. So I always drink my black tea with a little bit of, actually not a little bit, quite a, quite a lot of soy milk and uh, no sugar. I don't like sweeteners. Um, I'll put milk in, don't worry, fat Chinese gaming. I'm not gonna be drinking this without milk, hell no. Um, this is my soy milk of choice. I got so many comments on my day in the life video that I put like an absurd amount of milk in my tea, but I like to make my tea really black, like really dark, and then put lots of milk in it. I feel like that's the best way to drink it. So that's what it looks like. Here we go. Oh, my cup's the wrong way around. There we go. Here we go. Uh, biscuit brew. It's so freaking good. <laughs> okay, so you know those round like tea biscuits that you eat with tea? It is like the perfect combination of a black tea and the like scent and taste and sweetness of one of those biscuits. They did such a good job. There's no pictures of biscuits on here, but hopefully you guys know which ones I mean. Just like the really plain beige colored biscuits. So good. Just Nikki, Charlotte, do you like to use honey on your tea? No, I no sweetener. I like black tea with no sweetener and just lots of milk. Rich tea biscuits. Those are the one, Danielle. That's exactly what I mean. Yeah. So it's got like the perfect hint of that flavor. I don't know how they did it. It's insane. Ew, I've heard that specific soy milk has a pork based ingredient. That's disgusting. <laughs> I'll have to read the package. Thank you. Why? Oh, someone said you can get it on Amazon in America. There you go. The name is Multi Biscuit Brew by Yorkshire Tea, but like 10 out of 10, this is so delicious. I cannot wait to try the other two flavors, but I gotta finish this cup of tea now. So <laughs> we'll just chat until then. How have you guys been? I am home for uh, one day before I'm off to film another video at an onsen. So this is my like, evening to just chill and these teas arrived at the perfect time thank you becky and tom you guys are awesome amazon uk as well oh cool that's easier than going to the store to get it diana asks are you still playing pokemon go no i stopped playing years ago because it's such a stupid reason but i got like so obsessed with it that I was playing all the time. Like I had one of those cheating apps where it would like ping me every time a Pokemon was nearby. And I would wake up at like 3 a.m. and go outside and like go for a walk to catch Pokemon. <laughs> and it was just ruining my life. So I had to stop playing. I loved it. It was pretty sad giving it up, but like it was an addiction. I had to stop. Do Canadians use maple syrup in their tea instead of sugar and honey? I don't know anyone that does, but I bet there's somebody. You, you just know there's somebody out there that uses it. I, I bet it would be really good. Probably work really well. Art, thank you so much. Happy holidays to you too. I actually have your box of Christmas gifts here. If it's okay with you, I was thinking I might open them up in the stream. <laughs> Let me know if you're okay with that. 
Max, good morning from St. John's. I worked a 14 hour day yesterday. Otsukare. This is like the perfect opportunity to use the phrase otsukare in Japanese. We don't have it in English, but it means like, wow, uh, you did a good job at work. Take a rest. It's like got this really long meaning incorporated into it. And it's a really useful word that I wish we had in English. Um, but oh, thank you for the sweet message, Max. That's really nice. Do you do a PO box for sending little gifts and presents like tea and snacks? I have one that's on Patreon only because people started um, sending me weird shit <laughs> and I, I didn't want to keep it public. So it's only over on my Patreon. If you send me an email to uh, charlinejapan at gmail.com, I can reply to you <laughs> and send it to you. But yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to put it out publicly anymore. Chelsea, good morning from Arizona. I was planning on doing a Japan guided tour. Would you recommend for my first time in Japan or would going with a friend be better? Oh man, that's such a hard question because I've never really done a guided tour in Japan that wasn't like a, a job. So I've never really had like the actual experience of going on a guided tour. But for the ones that I've been on, my experience has been that they don't give you enough time at each location. So say you're on a bus and they're stopping at like several different places. They'll be like, here's the art museum. You've got five minutes to enjoy it. And you feel like rush and you can't really enjoy anything. So just from those experiences that I've had, I probably wouldn't recommend it. And um, just coming with a friend and like getting lost down some side streets, I bet you'll have a way better experience than something that's like really rigid. Um, yeah, so that would be my advice. I'm sure there are some good tours out there, but um, just wandering around in Japan, there's so much fun stuff to do that I feel like you don't need the tour. Oh my God, what did they send? You don't want to know. <laughs> go, for, go over to my Patreon. I'll plug the Patreon. You get all the juicy behind the scenes details over there. I think I've told this story over there a few times. <gasps> Good afternoon from Yorkshire. That's perfect. Cheers. I'm drinking your tea at the moment. Vermont, you guys are watching from all over the place. Scott, that's very kind of you. Merry Christmas to you too, thank you. River says, definitely go alone and get lost. That's my plan for next year. Yeah, like Japan is so, I don't know, there's just so much to see here that you don't need to go to those famous touristy places to have a good time. Just the really casual, chill back streets are really fun to explore, especially if it's your first time in Japan. And if you're with a friend, you don't have to get too worried about getting lost. You'll have someone with you. So you guys will hopefully be able to figure it out between the two of you. Hello from Chile. Cool. Are you spending Christmas alone? I am for the first time as my family lives abroad. Yeah, normally I would go back home for Christmas. Um, so it's pretty sad being stuck here, honestly. Um, but I do have some plans with friends, so I won't be alone. Um, should still be a good time. Um, but I am looking forward to next year when I can see my family properly, like I had planned. Uh, are, are the trains especially to navigate? Do you mean easy to navigate? I'm a bad person to ask because I'm like really bad at stuff like that. <laughs> so it took me a really long time to get used to the train system here. But I think if you're a normal person that doesn't have issues with directions, and like figuring out public transportation, I think they have a pretty easy to use system. Maybe other people in the comments can share their experiences. <laughs> Sarah, ohayo gozaimasu. Hello from the east coast of USA. Enjoying the snowy morning. Yay, I've got snow too. With my kitty marbles, say hello tomorrow and Luna for me. Thank you, Sarah. Hopefully I'll be able to chat with them soon. Where is the cat man? Do you mean Mark? <laughs> I think he's at home. I'm surprised he's not watching actually. Maybe he'll pop in eventually when he notices I'm live. <laughs> I might have missed it, but did you put up a Christmas tree already? I did. 
it's in the other room so you guys can't see it. Um, I do have one. I've got a really little Christmas tree from Daiso and uh, it's got pusheen, plushy decorations on it. <laughs> it's really cute. Mm -hmm. Elaine, Merry Christmas, Shyla. Love from Glasgow. P.S. Love the pajamas. Yeah, pajamas from Aki. Aki found these matching pajamas for us. Uh, if you haven't seen our TC collaboration uh, on the Tokyo Creative Channel, we were all wearing these pajamas and doing chill Christmas stuff. So go watch it later. Um, when it's safe to travel again, other than Korea to get the cats, you plan on traveling anywhere, maybe Hong Kong to see Taylor. Yes, um, Hong Kong to see Taylor. I want to go to England to see lots of my friends over there. I like. I had all these plans to travel this year <laughs> that all got canceled. So yeah, Hong Kong, England, and uh, of course, Korea will be my number one destination as soon as they let Canadians back in the country. Toys R Us Japan had nice, cheap Christmas trees. Really? I'm surprised. Courtney, hello from Chicago. Your videos have inspired me to start learning Japanese. It's so challenging and fun. Happy holidays. Ooh, good luck. What are you using to study? I recommend the Genki books. I didn't use them myself, but um, just hearing from other people's experiences, the Genki series is really good when you're just starting to learn. Hello, Charlene, greetings from Germany. Do you have any recommendations for language schools in Japan? I don't really, because I haven't gone to one myself. I studied Japanese in a university here, so it was a bit different. Um, yeah, and I've only really heard of negative experiences from some uh, Japanese language schools, so I don't really have one I can recommend to you, unfortunately. Um, Jack says, Sharla, will you ever make a video on how to begin the process of moving to Japan? Like tips and stuff. Oh God, it's such like a long, complicated uh, process that's really like, it depends on your situation. It depends on so many things. Like if you're coming as a student uh, or to work here or, you know, like just the visa process in the beginning. It really depends on what country you're from, how old you are. There's all these different rules. It's just such a complicated topic to make a video on. Can't really um, cover it all in one video. I feel like if you look through my Q and A's though, I probably do have a video with tips on moving to Japan. Maybe I could do like a specific one and ask you guys for specific questions related <laughs> to that. Um, I could do that. Um, Ma Malavika, am I saying your name right? That's a really pretty name. Uh, was it easy learning Japanese from the university? Please suggest some tips. Um, hmm. I don't know if I would say it was easy. <laughs> Japan is definitely a complicated language to learn given they have so many different alphabets uh, and the pronunciation can be a little hard for some people. And of course, just writing all those kanji is pretty tough. <laughs> so I'm not going to say it's easy. It's definitely one of the harder languages to learn. Um, what helped me is just kind of doing the things that I was doing already in Japanese. So like the video games I liked, I would try and play the Japanese versions. Um, I would try and find some music in Japanese that I liked and some dramas and movies. And I would kind of just like switch my uh, hobbies over to Japanese and kind of incorporate it into my life. So that really helped me when I was first learning Japanese. Um, I'm not a person that likes studying from textbooks, so I didn't use them at all when I was first studying. I just made friends with Japanese people and we kind of taught each other English and Japanese. And um, I learned it at like a really slow pace, just having fun with it. So it's kind of hard for me to give tips to people. I do have a really old video um, listing all the ways that I learned Japanese. So if you look up Sharla, how to learn Japanese, I think I called it. It's from years ago, but if I made the video again today, it would be exactly the same. Becky's here. Aqua Kitty, that is who sent me the lovely teas. We're drinking the biscuit brew at the moment. I got to finish this one before we move on to the next one. Tiko says, hi, I'm Japanese. I really want to make English speaking friends in Japan. What should I do? Where should I go? I really recommend just Twitter. 
I meet lots of my friends on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, there are probably groups of people that want to learn Japanese and maybe you can do a, a language exchange with them. That'd probably be what I would suggest. Santosh. Hi, Sharla. How are good singing Japanese songs? You know any Christmas carols in Japanese? Um, do you mean am I good at singing Japanese songs? If that's your question, no. <laughs> do I know any Christmas carols in Japanese? Oh, that's a very good question. I feel like I've heard some of the really famous ones uh, being changed to a Japanese version, like in a commercial or something before, but off the top of my head, no. But if you like go into the stores here, they're always playing the English versions of Christmas songs. So I think in general, um, they don't bother making Japanese versions of them. Everybody just listens to the English ones. Um, Jen says, hey, Charlie, Merry Christmas. Any plans for more ghost investigations? Yes, as soon as it warms up here, I would love to do more. I have lots of fun doing that. I love just exploring spooky areas. And luckily I've got a couple of friends that like doing it too, so. For sure. Gotta go to from dusk till dawn in Shinjuku. Great place to meet people. What's that, Troy? I've never heard of it. Mm -hmm. Do you plan on returning Cyberpunk for PS4 that you pre-ordered? No. Um, it's on the way. Amazon messaged me and said they shipped it. <laughs> I'm so pissed. I like. I got a PS4 solely for the purpose of playing cyberpunk when they announced that they were working on the game like in the very beginning i pre-ordered the game and i bought a ps4 and i was just like waiting <laughs> and i've been waiting for a long time and now apparently it doesn't even work on the ps4 so i don't know uh i was thinking maybe i'll get a ps5 but they're all sold out here and i can't get that either so my game's gonna arrive probably in like a week or so and I don't think I can play it and I'm just so sad. I don't have a gaming computer. Unfortunately, I only use Mac um, because I use it for work and Mac is the best for what I do. So yeah. Oh no, somebody said it keeps crashing on the PS5 too. Shit, that's horrible. Uh, I'm just praying that they will keep tweaking it and it will eventually work for the PS5 and then maybe by then I'll have a PS5. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm so bummed. I've been looking forward to this for like two years. Um, <laughs> when I get a PS5, just get an air purifier and call it a PS5. My Honestly, my air purifier looks exactly like a PS5. Ah, oh, Cyberpunk 2077. Sorry for that, we're working on it. That's amazing. Thanks for watching. I'm looking forward to it. I will wait. Um, I, I'm quietly waiting <laughs> for it to work again. I'm not going to return it. Now you know we're incognito Charlotte fans. You guys are awesome. <gasps> Could you please do an Animal Crossing Island tour on your channel? I want to, but I've got like a... Uh, I've only got the portable switch. I don't have the one where you can record your gameplay. So all I could do is like point my camera at it and uh, film it that way. And I just think it's kind of lame. I don't know. I would like to do a tour, but on the other hand, my uh, my island's like really messy. And okay, to be honest, I haven't played since it turned to fall. That's how busy I've been. Uh, so... <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed as to uh, how many weeds have grown on my island. But maybe one day I'll do a tour for you guys if I ever find time to play again. Uh, are you going to the Mario amusement park thing? Not anytime soon. I don't want to be in a crowded area at the moment. We'll see uh, how the situation is next year. Of course, I would love to go. It looks amazing. I'm not a fan of Disneyland just because I'm not really interested in many Disney characters or anything. Uh, but Mario, hell yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> We're glad to hook her up with some winter hats. Amazing. Where's my pajamas from? They're from Amazon. My friend Aki chose them. Uh, we got some matching pajamas. Honestly, I don't know where you'd be able to get them. They're just like, uh, 
some random Japanese brand. They're a little short in the limb area, <laughs> as most Japanese pajamas are, but they're comfy. Shara san no doga daisuki desu. Mo nan nemo mitemasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you so much. What are you doing on Christmas Day? Any chance of a Christmas Eve or Christmas Day live or video? I won't do a live stream. I'm just going to be chilling. I might record a video, but I don't know when I'll have time to post it. <laughs> so I feel like nobody wants to watch Christmas content after Christmas. So it's always such a rush to like edit it and post it right away. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, I actually, I'm going to be meeting up with a couple friends and I really want to do a, a gingerbread creating challenge, gingerbread house creating challenge. But like I said, it's going to be up a little late. So hopefully you guys are still up for watching some Christmas content a few days after Christmas. <laughs> Maybe several days, depending on uh, how I feel. Mouse House Travel, Ohio. My wife, Sarah, and I were supposed to be in a plane to Japan today. Aw, oh, man. So thanks for your videos. You and Chris Brog keep us sane. I'm so sorry to hear that. I, uh, I feel your disappointment because I was supposed to be in a plane to Korea to pick up my cats in April and that uh, got canceled. <laughs> About the same time all of this shit went down was when I was supposed to be flying to Korea. So I know how you feel. Honestly, the worst. Thank you. To be fair, Charlotte, I almost never want to watch any Christmas content. However, anything you put out, I'll watch at some point. Aw, thanks, Erin. That's super kind. I appreciate that. Is Japan still in lockdown? No, we haven't had um, a lockdown since, like, March. I don't even remember. They had one for, like, a couple weeks, and it wasn't even, like, a serious lockdown. They just told everybody um, to try not to go out if it's unnecessary. Uh, but yeah, everything is very relaxed in Japan and they kind of just leave it up to everybody to do what they want to do. Everyone's really good about wearing a mask and sanitizing their hands. So even though it's super crowded and places are still really busy, um, it doesn't seem like the situation's gotten completely out of hand here. It would be, honestly, I think they should do a lockdown for like a good month or something, but uh, I'm assuming that the stores are really taking a huge hit and restaurants and everything. So that's why the government hasn't hasn't put us back into lockdown, I'm assuming. Um, I saw someone say it was their birthday. Where'd the comment go? <laughs> Where'd it go? I will find it. Laura, happy birthday. Congratulations. How old are you? Uh, so did you have to restart the process of getting your cats into Japan? No. Uh, so I emailed the vet <laughs> and we, we got in a big argument because I was very stressed and angry. And um, it turns out they just had to refresh their shots and needed to wait three months. And then they're good to enter Japan. So from... January, I think. I think I got their shots in November. From January, they're good to enter Japan, but I'm not allowed to enter Korea, so I can't go get them. So still waiting. <laughs> the endless process of getting my cats. Feels like it's never going to happen. Ah, Jessica, thank you. How's my tea? My tea's awesome. I'm uh, almost done my first cup of biscuit brew. And which one should we try next? Should we try decaf bedtime with vanilla and nutmeg or toast and jam? Make your votes now. Are you getting both, Rebecca? Okay, so my suggestion to my ex was that I take Maro and he take Luna because they've kind of, it's always felt like Maro was my cat and Luna was more his. But um, he thinks that we should keep them together because he, he is convinced that they're friends. <laughs> Whereas uh, being a cat person and seeing lots of cats throughout my life, I can tell that Maro and Luna don't really like each other. So I 
honestly thought that they might be happier apart, but he insists on keeping them together. So if I take Morrow, I will also take Luna. It's looking like everyone's voting for Toast and Jam. We will go to Toast and Jam next. Let me just finish this cup of tea first. Can't he bring them to you? No, foreigners are not allowed into Japan at the moment. He's Korean, so. Um, is it night? Is it nighttime? Where is the caffeine? Lots of caffeine. Probably not a good idea, but I couldn't wait. Oh, Liz, thank you so much. First time catching a live stream, but longtime fan. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too. As a cat mom, also really hoping for you to be reunited with your cats again soon. Thank you so much. I really... Um, appreciate how other cat people understand <laughs> how much this upsets me because my cats mean everything to me. And if you're not a cat person or you're not like an animal person, uh, I can see why you wouldn't understand why I'm so depressed about not being able to get my cats. But <laughs> yeah, I will, I will be so happy once I get them again. So here's praying um, that it happens soon. Can you put them on a plane and you collect them on arrival? I don't think that's possible and I wouldn't want to do it either. Morrow gets really nervous on planes and I would just feel really bad him being on a plane without me being there with him. So I think it's better to wait until I can go there and accompany him. Um, Fluffy still comes to, still comes every time we watch your videos. That is so cute. I, I really like it when you guys send me photos of your cats watching my videos. <laughs> it's adorable. Thank you, Clara. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Alex says, glad you've got Yorkshire tea. That's where I'm from. Trust the English for a decent cup. Of yeah, Yorkshire tea is the best black tea in the world. No competition. Thanks for joining, Maddie. Thanks for watching. My cat Matcha says hi. What a cute name for a cat. I've never seen a cat named Matcha. That's really original. What color is your cat? Hey, Charlotte, what animes have you watched? Um, honestly, I haven't watched anime in years. I don't have much time to just sit down and watch TV or just watch anything, really. And uh, when I do find time, I usually just watch true crime uh, documentaries and horror movies. <laughs> So, yeah, unfortunately, I haven't seen much anime recently. Do you intend to live the, uh, I'm assuming you mean rest of your life in Japan? No. I only want to stay here maybe a couple more years, and then I'd like to move somewhere else. Mabel says hi, too. She's a tux. I didn't think I was a cat person, but now she's, aw, <laughs> that's so cute. She's converted you. <laughs> Katie, yeah, I will be spending Christmas with some of my friends and hopefully doing a uh, uh, gingerbread house making competition. <laughs> I ordered some from America because I've always wanted to do it. I've never um, made a gingerbread house until this year. I actually made one for Tokyo Creative uh, not too long ago, but um, I would like to make one myself. So I'm really looking forward to it. Mm, where would you like to go after Japan? Back to Canada? Nah, I'm done with Canada. <laughs> I was there long enough. I'd like to try somewhere new, hopefully somewhere in Europe. Um, that's my plan, but we'll see how it goes. I want to get the cats first and um, settle down with them here in Japan a little bit before moving them anywhere else. <laughs> Katsu's watching too. Yay. Send me pictures later. I'm done with Canada too, but I can't leave. Yes, you can. Come to Japan. Um, do companies contact you and the TC crew to do traveling or the other way around? They always contact us. We're very lucky um, that many places want us to come visit and um, advertise their area. Yes, I'm in Morioka for one night. <laughs> my one night at home to chill will you ever do van life I can't drive so if somebody wants to drive me yeah I could live in a van 
what's wrong with Canada? Nothing. I'm just bored of it. I get bored very easily. I lived in Canada for 19 years, so that was enough. Graham, thank you so much. How long have I lived in Japan? 16 years, Katie. Mm. First cup of tea done. Okay, toast and jam it is. I'm so excited. It's going to be so good. It smells like strawberries. Oh my God. I really like black tea that scented like um, strawberries and roses. So I think I'm really going to like this one. Has anyone tried this? Toast and jam Yorkshire blend. It smells really good. So I think it's going to be good. Ooh, caramel tea. That sounds awesome. This is my favorite appliance. I'm glad it gets to make an appearance in this live stream. It's, um, if you don't know what this is, it's a kettle, I guess, that um, keeps the water boiling so I can make tea all the time. It just boils it once and then it keeps it hot. Um, okay, I'm gonna let this sit for like three minutes or something, make it nice and strong. Oh, hey, cat, Canada is nice but boring. Yeah, like if you if you grow up there, um, by the time you become an adult, probably gonna be bored with it. <laughs> At least um, where I was from, it wasn't a big city. I'm from Victoria, so got pretty bored after living there for 19 years. Oh God, Brian, that sounds horrible. <laughs> I hate black licorice. <laughs> passion fruit tea from Brazil. That sounds really nice. Um, no sugar or honey with tea. No, I don't like sweetening my tea. I just put uh, lots of milk in it. No sweetener. Morioka no fuyu to Victoria no fuyu wa chigao. Victoria wa yuki furanai desu yo. Ato, amari samuku nai desu. Tabu san ka godo gurai made made sagaru desu kedo. Amari samuku wa naranai kara morioka wa sugoi samuku kanjimasu. Mmm, Earl Grey is nice. Lady Grey is really good too. Yeah, Earl Grey is delicious. I really like, um, what's it called? <laughs> they don't have it here in Japan, so I always forget the name. London Fog. It's like um, hot milk and vanilla syrup and Earl Grey tea. It's the best drink ever. I always get that at Starbucks in Canada. Oh, I'm finally not bored of Canada. I moved from my small town to Ottawa for university. I've never been to Ottawa. Is it really nice? It does look really pretty. I would love to visit. London Fog Lattes are so good, yes. Um, is anybody in England, uh, do you guys have a drink called London Fog? I wonder if that's like only a North America thing. I always wondered, but yeah, it's like, the best drink ever. So if you've never tried one, you can make one yourself easily. Just like froth up some hot milk with a little bit of vanilla flavoring and sweetener, and then put an Earl Grey tea bag in it. So good. Um, have your parents been reluctant with you going to Japan at such a young age? Mine probably wouldn't let me. Now nah, my parents are really chill, so I was lucky. <laughs> they kind of just let me do whatever I wanted. So I didn't really... Um, have to fight them on that. Never heard of London Fog in the UK. Yeah, I figured it was like a North America thing. <laughs> it's good. You guys should have it though. Somebody import London Fog to the UK. I think it'll be popular. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, I think it has steeped long enough. It smells like strawberries. How good is your Korean? Not very good. It was good enough that I could like order food and um, talk to the post guy when he came to my door and swear at people. That's about it. Charlotte, consider moving to Portugal. Amazingly safe and warm European country. How warm is it? 
I hate hot weather. <laughs> it's not a good way to convince me to move there. I prefer cold weather. Mmm. Mmm. That's yummy. This cup is really hot. I can't even hold it properly. Okay, I think I put too much milk in it. <laughs> it's very milky. But it definitely has a uh, strawberry flavor, which is really nice. And also like, also like a slightly burnt toast flavor. Like I can see why they call it jam on toast. What do they call it? And not just like jam because it, it definitely has like a toasty flavor to it. Breakfasty, brec breakfasty. <laughs> it's too late for this. Breakfasty toast and jam. Yeah. So it's got kind of like a slightly burnt toast flavor. Really subtle. And then strawberry. That's really yummy. Mmm. Wow. Um. Okay. Biscuit brew got a ten out of ten. I would give that like a nine out of ten. It's good, but it's not as good as biscuit. Have you made anything else in the oven? No, I haven't been at home. I really want to. My grandma sent me a recipe um, for my favorite Christmas cookies that she would always um, make at Christmas time. So hopefully I'll find time to do that. <laughs> burnt toast flavor isn't really selling it for me. It's, a, it's like a really subtle, not burnt, but like, you know that taste when the toast is like nicely browned it has that flavor I don't know how they captured it this is like this is crazy whoever made these they did a very good job they taste exactly like what they say they taste like let's try natto flavor tea let's not I really hope that doesn't exist when are you opening the lucky bags so I ordered six six lucky bags this year um Four of them are fashion, which never turns out well, but I, for some reason, still try every year. Uh, one of them is homeware, which will be really cool, stuff for my house. And uh, the final one's the Pokemon bag. If you missed my post, I actually got chosen for the uh, lottery for the Pokemon lucky bag this year. So I'm so excited about that. <laughs> it's been so many years since I've been able to get one because they changed it to a lottery system and I never won it. So yeah, yay. Christy, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that's very kind of you. Just found your channel two days ago and love living vicariously through you. I haven't been to Japan in 25 years and def def desperately need to get back. My cat Kanji says squeak meow and she hopes you get your kitties back with you soon. Thank you so much, Christy. And hello, Kanji. You guys have really cute cat names. I love it. Wow, if you haven't been to Japan in 25 years, it has changed so much. I've been here since, hmm, I can't remember when the first time I came was, but it was probably about 20 years ago. And it's just crazy how much has changed. So you definitely need to make another trip and see what it's like now. Skina Pokemon wa nan desu ka? Skina Pokemon wa parasu. Parasu, nihongo de? Paris. Ano, akai yatsu. <laughs> my cat's names are Simba and Lyra. Is that how you pronounce it? That's really pretty too. My cat's name is Mr. Christmas. I'm not joking. That why? <laughs> Did you get him for Christmas? <gasps> my cats were called Harold and Bob. You guys are awesome. Um, I've always wanted to name a cat Tofu, but I don't know if I'll ever get another cat, especially if I'm getting both Maro and Luna back, but um, I can dream. If I ever get another cat, they will be named Tofu. Paris in Japanese is just Parasu. Yeah, Parasu. I have a cat called Tiny. He's 15 pounds. Oh dear. <gasps> When Charizard? That is a good question. One day, hopefully, be really cool to be able to change my channel name to that like once and for all. <laughs> because honestly, it was a really dumb idea to change my channel name 
as I gain subscribers because YouTube makes it very complicated. And every time they take away my verification mark. So I'd like to be able to change it to Charizard and just leave it at that. So hopefully one day I'll reach a million subscribers, but I'm not in a hurry. How do Japanese type on a keyboard? Um, so I have a Japanese keyboard on my computer. I like getting the Japanese one because there's a button that you can push to um, switch between English and Japanese. And then you just type like you would in Romaji. So if I want to type like Nihongo, I would type N-I-H-O-N-G-O um, using just the regular keyboard like you would in English. And then it switches it to Japanese. Mm, when's Mega Charizard? No, Jack. I'm going to stop at Charizard. How many subscribers before you can evolve? Uh, One million is when I will evolve to Charizard. So... Uh, like 400,000 more. Is that all? It's going to be a while. <laughs> it's going to be a long wait. Uh, I miss your unboxing videos. Aww. <laughs> I love to see what people send you. Hope you could do more. I was watching your old ones these few days. Well, I actually, I don't know if Art ever replied. I have some presents sent to me by a really kind viewer in Canada um, named Art, who was here earlier. And I was going to open those up. But um, I wanted to ask him if it was okay for me to do it on camera. I wasn't sure if he was all right with that. My cat's names are Dumpling, Cinnamon, and May May. That's really cute. Merlin says, do you have another job except YouTuber? I do lots of different things. Um, basically, I just work freelance. So I do like translation, um, sometimes like hosting events uh just all over the place really <laughs> basically anything where i can like use my japanese skills um i'll do that but mainly youtuber nowadays oh yeah and i've got a business <laughs> forgot about that thanks jack <laughs> oh my god i've been watching you since the bread video no and you inspired me to make a YouTube channel. It's brand new, but I've been wanting to make it for years all because of you. What's the name of your channel? I will check it out later if I can uh, if I can get the name from you. <laughs> oh no, why does everyone watch the bread video? Kazu, thank you so much. Arigato gozaimasu. Happy holidays from California. How's your weather? I bet it's warm there still, isn't it? Do you think you'll ever get bored of Japan? I won't find it boring, but honestly, I don't really find it overly exciting anymore. I've been here so long that it just feels like home to me now. So that's the main reason that I would like to live somewhere else. I like exploring new places and I've almost seen the entire country. I've been ev everywhere in Japan almost, so. Any plans for New Year's Eve, says Kira. No, I haven't even thought about it. I haven't thought that far ahead yet. <laughs> I was really hoping that I was going to be flying to Korea um, for most of January. But yeah, that's not happening, unfortunately. Where's Mark? Mark's at home. I'm surprised he's not in the chat. I thought he would have seen that I was live and stopped by. But he didn't. Oh, Art. Art says it's OK. Thank you, Art. So yeah we can open some Christmas presents. So one of them was unwrapped. So I'll show that first. Check this out. It's real life Maneki Neko, a calendar, a wall calendar of cats uh, with their paws up. It's such a cute idea. I can't wait to hang it on my wall. I might actually hang it up here in my streaming room. And he was so considerate and uh, included, where'd they go? Some like uh, wall hooks that won't destroy the wall because I'm not really allowed to hang things on my wall here. Um, so I'm really excited to try these and hang up my cute calendar. Thank you so much, Art. I've never seen anything like this. So that was a really good find. So cute. Looks like Luna. I don't know where to start. <laughs> he was so generous and sent me so many presents. I hope you enjoy the gifts. Thank you so much. 
Very, very kind of you. I think we can just pull this off. Those hooks will definitely ruin the paint on their on your walls. They're super strong. They're not paint. They're like a wallpaper type thing. Um, do you think that it's not okay for wallpaper? I'll test it somewhere like <laughs> secretive. <laughs> test it somewhere secretive first. What do we have here? Secret white box, not sure. That looks like the Animal Crossing present wrapping paper. You're so right. It does. It is midnight in Japan, Troy, and I didn't prepare scissors, so I'm gonna have to like, gonna have to open this with my fingers. Oni nomu yepuda. Kamsamida. That's the uh, extent of my Korean. I'm sorry, I can't say anything else. Maneki Neko, yeah. What is this? I'm so curious. Oh, it's a cat. What is it? Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, it's a, a really realistic looking Maneki Neko. I see a theme here, Art, and I'm liking it. <laughs> oh, it's so adorable. Look at him, and he's got a little pillow to sit on. That will look perfect on my shelf. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love it. Benny's selection. Okay, the eyes are so realistic looking. Look at them. They're like watering. This is really beautiful. Aww. You can sit here for the live stream. <laughs> what does the kanji read? Um, Hyaku man ryo, I think you read that as. So 100, uh, 10,000. So what the hell would that be? I'm so bad at translating numbers into English because they do a weird in Japanese. One hundred ten thousand dollars. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> Sorry. What's his name? Tofu. This can be Tofu, my uh, imaginary cat. A hundred k? No, because it's a hundred ten thousand. So it must be a million. A million dollars. I think that's what it says. Here's the next one, in an interesting shaped package. Merry Christmas. <laughs> One million? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think we've established that's what 110,000 is. <laughs> oh, cool. That is super useful. Thank you so much. This will be great for live streams. Oh man, that, that's great. I actually needed one of these really badly. So thank you, Art. Very cool. It looks like a really heavy duty one too. So I think that'll last me a long time. Oh, that's great. These are from a viewer named Art in Canada. Very kind of him. And I believe this is the final one. These really do like look like the Animal Crossing wrappings. How cute is that? Do you think they got the idea from Amazon? <laughs> You called your plush cat from Tokyo Tofu too. No, don't call me out. All of my fake cats will be named Tofu until I get a real one. <laughs> oh, a cute, really cute little box. Let's see if I can open it. I, I cut my finger really bad opening a box today, so it's a little tough. One million yen, so $10,000. Yeah, I think that's right, Lauren. <laughs> it's so tough to convert like Japanese money into dollars in my head. I don't know why, I just can't handle it. Hi, Sharla, I would love to send you gifts to do you still have a PO box. Naomi, could you send me an email to charlotteinjapan at gmail.com and I will reply 
with an address. I don't make it public anymore because I got some weird shit in the mail. So I've only got it on my Patreon at the moment. <laughs> so the sticker on the package says, Ken Kocha Gyarari, Healthy Tea Gallery. I like what I'm hearing. It's in such a cute little package that I feel bad opening it, honestly. <laughs> I love how everyone's as excited as I am. It's so fun opening this. It's wrapped so nicely. Tea for you. Aww. Ooh. Oh my God, these are so cute. Wow. Look at these. Those are so adorable. I don't want to use them. I just want to display them somewhere. So we've got Bada Kocha, Rose Black Tea, which is always my favorite. Um, Aomori Ringo no Fruits Kocha. Um, apples from Aomori, flavored black tea. And Jasmine Tea. Art, that's very, very kind of you. And wow, you're really good at picking out gifts. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Uh, I love everything so much. Thank you so much for that. These are so pretty. I'm gonna put them on my shelf and probably avoid drinking them because they just look so good. <laughs> but I will try them once. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very, very kind. Ichido equals genzai no kakaku de juusan maen. Really? Wait, what? Oh, ah, ah. One, you mean like uh, one million yen would nowadays be uh, 130, 130,000 yen? Is that what you mean? Because <laughs> that's the Rudi, rudi. Um, rose tea is great. Yes, rose tea is so good. Uh, if you guys have never tried a rose black tea, I recommend the Wittard one. Um, I think their, their website's wittards.co.uk, maybe? It's a British company, but they ship overseas. So try their rose black tea. It's very, very nice. I've got to finish this tea so that we can try the last one. I like the Korean gel tea. What's that, Anthony? What's gel tea? I've never heard of it. Do you have a Christmas tree or decoration set up? I do, but they're not in this room. I was just thinking, I really should have decorated that tree. Missed opportunity. <laughs> By the time I get it decorated, uh, Christmas will probably be over. Next year, I will decorate the tree in the streaming room. What other lucky bags are you planning on getting besides the Pokemon one? So I got um, four fashion lucky bags and one that is uh, house goods. So just random things for my house. It could be anything really. And then the Pokemon Lucky Bag. So altogether six of them, mostly fashion ones. When are you and Tay Tay seeing each other? We actually did like a, a Zoom call today. <laughs> so that, that's the best we're gonna get for a while, I think. Still can't travel. Um, instant teas, I've tried some of them. The vanilla one is really nice. It was vanilla and like fruit or something. Yeah, it was delicious. Random houseware sounds fun. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully it's some nice stuff. I always love decorating my house. My favorite AC villager is Lolly, Ramune in Japanese. Mm, Mark, hey! I knew he would come by eventually. Everyone was asking for you. <laughs> They're bummed you're not here. It's like my first solo stream in ages. They're like, where's Mark? Mm, almost done. We can try the last one. Serious question. Where do you store all of your gifts and shopping in your small apartment? Um, I don't know. I somehow seem to find a place for it. I've got lots of shelving and I usually just put baskets on them. So if it starts to look messy, I can just put everything in baskets. Shelves and baskets, that's my secret. <laughs> this is Mark's channel now. 
Basically. It's weird without him. T-Wisk, motte masu yo, motte ru kero, anmari jōzu ni dekinai. Hello, Arthur in the Philippines. Thanks for watching. Yay, we're finished. On to the final tea tasting. But I've lost it. Decaf, bedtime brew with vanilla and nutmeg. Uh, it's time for a bedtime tea because it's currently 13 minutes past midnight here in Japan. And I should probably not have any more caffeine. So this is really exciting. It's a black tea with no caffeine in it. What's today's stream a boot? <laughs> Says Mark, damn you. <laughs> I hate you. Holy crap. Whoa. That really smells like nutmeg. Like it's really overpowering. Uh, today's stream is about, is a boot. It's a boot tea, Mark. Read the title. <gasps> I'm slightly worried for this one. I like nutmeg, but like only if it's subtle, if it's too strong, it's not very good. Oh, this one doesn't, oh, wish I could, can I show you guys? This one doesn't look like it's gonna get as dark as the others. It's kind of clear. Interesting. I'm going to stir that and let it sit for, what do they recommend? Mm. Doesn't say, that's weird. Usually they tell you. I'll just, I'll let it sit for like three minutes. We'll see what happens. 3 p.m. in the UK. It's a good time for tea. <laughs> Unlike midnight. Can you tell us about any fun videos planned for the future? Uh, well, Eric, I've got an onsen, two onsen videos <laughs> coming out soon, actually. Uh, I just finished filming one in Yamagata where I toured a whole bunch of different onsen and compared them. So that will be coming out sometime in January. It's gonna take me a long time to edit. It was kind of a complicated video. And I'll be doing another onsen video with my friend Aki. We're going to visit a private onsen together for Christmas. Um, what else do I have planned? Hopefully I'm gonna be doing a gingerbread competition with my friends, gingerbread house making competition. And we're gonna have all the lucky bag videos coming out soon. <laughs> Lots of lucky bag videos. Um, I guess that's it for the uh, near future. Other than that, hopefully we'll have a cat reuniting scene video <laughs> coming out soon. Fingers crossed. Cross all your fingers for me. My daughter said she wants to know what you asked for for Christmas. I asked Santa for an iMac, <laughs> which I probably will not get because it's very expensive. But honestly, that's like the only thing I need. Uh, I'm basically just on my computer all the time and it's not been very good recently. So the only thing I really want is an iMac, but uh, I that's asking for a lot. <laughs> so other than that, uh, you can tell your daughter that I also asked for, what else, what, what's on my Christmas list? Um, Honestly, I just, I don't really want anything this year. I just want my cats. <laughs> That's really all I want. Charlotte, what are your plans for Christmas and New Year's? Uh, I'm hanging out with some friends for Christmas and New Year's, I don't have any plans at all. I'm, I'm probably just gonna stay at home. It's very cold and um, I, I don't wanna party <laughs> or anything. So I'll just be chilling at home, counting down to midnight probably, looking at the snow outside. Will you be on Chris's KFC Xmas live stream? Do they even do a vegan option? No, the KFC in Japan doesn't do uh, a vegan option, unfortunately. I've heard that they do around the world, some places possibly. 
Um, I may pop into the live stream. We will keep that a secret for now. You'll have to watch and find out. 30 degrees in Australia. Wow. That's very hot. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Courtney. Oh, from the Isle of Man. I have a friend that lives there. Okay, I think this tea is done. Honestly, I don't know because it's not the typical color of black tea. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's kind of it's a little, it's like golden orange color. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. It smells kind of weird. I'm gonna put lots of milk in it. Eskimono Fono. That's a cute name. <laughs> Thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you too. Vegan KFC burger in UK is actually really nice. Ah, I'm, uh, oh, that reminds me. I've got another video coming out trying the vegan Burger King burger with Chris, actually. <laughs> I thought I would torture him with a vegan hamburger. Um, that'll probably be my next video if I can edit that soon. It should be out soon. Lisa, your love of tea is well known. Have you ever had one that you just said, gah? Yes. Um, anise, anise, anise seed, anything that tastes like licorice, I hate it. So hopefully this one doesn't have it in it. No, it doesn't. Lemon, lemongrass, vanilla, and nutmeg. Really weird combination. Looking forward to trying it. And a happy new year. Thank you. Happy new year to you too. Happy almost new year. Abraham, thank you so much. Happy holidays to you too. Cheers. Uh, bedtime brew. Here we go. Our last cup of tea for the night. Mm. Wow, that's really weird. Why did they decide to put lemon in it? I don't know what I think about that. I like it though. Yeah, I do like it. It's kind of like, it's a bit of a shock at first because black tea and lemon and vanilla and nutmeg is such a weird combination, but I like it. Yeah, I can see myself drinking this before bed, like every day. It's like, it's an addictive flavor. I feel like I'm gonna crave it. Mm. Ooh, Abby says, happy holidays. For travelers, what would be your favorite stop on the Tohoku line to visit? Ooh, that's tough. Um, hmm. Hmm. Honestly, it depends on the season. If it's the fall, I would really recommend Morioka because I feel like Morioka is super pretty in the fall. But then again, I haven't seen the other stops during the fall. But I do know that Morioka has lots of really nice uh, spots in both fall and spring. I wouldn't recommend coming here in the winter. I feel like there's not too many nice sightseeing spots that look good in the snow. Um, you should probably go all the way up to Aomori <laughs> if you want to enjoy the winter here. Yeah, it depends on the season. That's so tough. Uh, I'm going to vote for Morioka because I just want you guys to, to visit Morioka and see what it's like here. I feel like um, it doesn't get enough publicity and it's a really nice city. So yes, please come visit Morioka. Bata-san, konnichiwa. I am Japanese. Bata-pata. Me ga waru te mienai. Gomen nasai. Mite kurete arigatou gozaimasu. Rebecca, nutmeg and lemon. I know, right? It's a really weird combination, and I want to know why they chose it, but it does work. <laughs> it actually, this is going to sound really weird. It reminds me of, like, Vietnamese food. <laughs> like, it, like, that's probably not a flavor that you want your tea to taste like, but it's good. It works. Bakale, thank you so much. Uh, Charlotte, what brand of matcha cups do you recommend? Uh, there's not like a certain brand that I recommend. I just like uh, work from like local pottery shops. Um, I'll just pop into like a local pottery shop and I really like the ones that look like they're kind of tie-dyed. 
So yeah, I don't know any brands. I don't know any brand names. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not picky with my cups. I just like really pretty colored ones. So sorry, I can't give you any brand names. Maybe it's the lemongrass. That's a really specific taste. Yeah, I think so. I think that's it. It's just like I'm craving Vietnamese food now after drinking this. Ah, uh, yes, a good Vietnamese sandwich tea. Honestly, that's what it tastes like if I had to explain it. Where's the mug from? This is from, um, oh, what's the name? Shit, I just ordered it like a week ago. Anthropology, I think it's called. Yeah, somebody linked something that they had bought on Anthropology, and it was so cute. And I went to their website. I'd never heard of them before. And um, they had lots of really nice Christmas gifts. So I ordered some gifts for my friend, and I got this cup for myself because I really wanted like a big teacup. I drink a lot of tea. What happened to your finger? I cut it on a box this morning. It's all right though. I think it's healing. Oh, I missed the blind boxes. I haven't done them yet, Claire. Thanks for reminding me. Let's do them now. So in, if you watch my Kyoto video, I bought um, these Jiddly blind boxes. They are cat bus magnets. I needed some new magnets for my fridge. And I haven't been able to find any. I've honestly needed magnets for like a year. <laughs> and uh, I saw these ones at the Ghibli store. So let's open them up. There are six different uh, options that could be inside. This was my favorite, I think. But there's also a secret one that um, you don't know what it looks like. So I hope I get the tongue one. It looks really cute. Ooh, it's really big. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Sucker for blind boxes. Yes, Katie, yes. Ta-da, oh God. <laughs> it's just the plain smiley face, but it's really cute. They're really well made. It feels so sturdy. It's so heavy. I hope it doesn't fall off my fridge. Uh, I needed some of these to, so that I could stick uh, photos to my fridge, so. Yay, that's number one. Hopefully the second one is the one that I want. So I got that one. That one's also kind of cute. They're all cute, to be honest. If I just get one that's different, I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah, the details like in the fur. It's cute, it's really well made. Oh, uh, which one is it? Mystery, yeah, I kind of want to know what the mystery one is. I'll have to look it up if I don't get it. This one feels smaller for some reason. Dun, dun. What did we get? Oh, is it the sneaky face? I think it's the one that I said was cute. It is, yeah. Oh, I like that one. Yay. Pretty adorable. I think these were like $6 each at uh, the Ghibli store in Kyoto. Yee, I'm looking forward to putting them on my fridge. I think that's the only magnetic area I have, so. Chocolate is good, but it's minimal. It's a little bit of a chocolate. They asked if I like chocolate, and they recommended me a chocolate shop. I actually don't really like chocolate. I'm really picky with it. I don't know why. I feel like I'm weird. But, uh, yeah. Have you hung up the cat bus kitchen towel curtain thing? Yeah. Um, no, I, I didn't buy that. You mean the one that I looked at and then I found it in the store after? I didn't end up buying that because I couldn't figure out what to do with it. I figured that it like needed a frame or something. So I didn't get it. I did really like it. But um, I have a little Totoro hand towel thing in my kitchen. So I'm slowly growing my Ghibli collection. All right, next we've got these Animal Crossing cards to open. I've been saving them up from my advent calendar. So far I've got these three. I think those are the only ones I have so far. There are like a new Animal Crossing collectible card that's come out in Japan recently. They're not like Amiibo or anything, but they're really cute and the cards are really well made. 
And these were in my advent calendar. So let's hope I get some new characters. I don't think uh, Lolly was one of the options, apparently. Unfortunately, but I, hopefully they'll come out with another series that has Lolly. Ah, <laughs> awesome. Takoya. That's really cute. I'm glad I got him. <laughs> That's super adorable. Yeah, and they come with uh, these little jellies shaped like the Animal Crossing fruits. They're super cute. All right, so far so good. No doubles yet. These are really hard to find. They sell them in grocery stores, but they're never in stock. Every time I found them, the gummies are kind of gross, right? I actually didn't try any. Mark ate them. Mark ate them all. <laughs> Mark, come over and eat my gummies. I don't want them. Oh, no. That's a double. Shit. What are the chances? There's like, a, I think there's like 20 of them. No, there's like 30 or something. I already got a double. That's too bad. Who's collecting? Who wants to trade with me? Got a double Koyuki. And the last one. Who's going to eat all the gummies? Mark will. He always eats all the snacks that I don't want. <laughs> last one. Who do we got? Oh, awesome. It's Lucky. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like how they have like the trees and the flowers and stuff in the background. Oh, it's making me want to play. It's been too long. And look, this one has the fossil gummy. So cute. All right, guys. I think I'm going to say good night. It's 12.30. I'm going to finish my really weird Vietnamese tea. <laughs> but, um, oh, I got to rate this one. I didn't rate this one yet. Okay. Biscuit Brew got a 10 out of 10. Amazing. One of the best teas I've ever had. Toast and Jam got a 9 out of 10. Pretty good, but not as good as Biscuit. And Bedtime, I don't know yet. I'm still so weirded out by the lemongrass, but I do like it. Mm, I'm going to give it a seven. It's a little weird, but it's good. If you guys try it, can you please tweet me or something and let me know your thoughts? <laughs> I'd love to hear your opinion. But yeah, it's good, and I will definitely drink it. Seven out of ten. Cheers, guys. Have a good night. Thanks so much for coming to the stream. I had a really good time hanging out with you. If I don't see you live before Christmas, have a really good Christmas and a happy new year. Um, but I'm sure I'll be back soon for another live stream to hang out. So I will see you guys then. Bye bye. Have a good day or night, whatever time it is where you are. <laughs>